हेलो दिस इज सीरीज लेसन वन इन दिस आई विल डिस्कस बेसिक्स ऑफ नंबर एंड लेटर सीरीज विद एग्जाम्पल नाउ वट इज ए सीरीज ए सीरीज इज ए टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन इन विच फ्यू टर्म्स विल बी गिवन टू यू एंड यू हैव टू ऑब्जर्व द पैटर्न इन दो टर्म्स एंड देन यू कैन फाइंड द नेक्स्ट नंबर और मिसिंग नंबर और रोंग नंबर एटसेट्रा एटसेट्रा देर आर वेराइटी ऑफ क्वेश्चन Uh, all of which I will discuss in the upcoming lesson and this lesson. But the basic is that in all series question, you will find the pattern in terms, or second kind of questions are there in series. You will find the pattern in difference of terms. First, let's discuss where we can find the pattern within the terms. Now, can I say that? You one, four, nine, sixteen, and twenty-five. This is series given to you, and you need to find the next number. What we have to do? We have to observe the pattern in this series and find the missing number. Can I say this is one square? This is one square. This is two square. This is three square. This is four square, and this is five square. Now, what is the pattern? Pattern is that you have to square the number and find the Next number. No, next number would by common sense would be six square by observing the pattern of previous five terms. So six square would be thirty six, and that will be our final answer. What is the second series? Four, nine, twenty five, forty nine, and one twenty one. Now four is two square, nine is three square. This is five square. This is seven. This is eleven. Now can I say that what is the pattern? Pattern is that. the all the previous five terms five terms are square of prime numbers these are consecutive prime numbers in increasing order and the terms are square of that first prime number is 2 2 two square second prime number is 3 3 square then next prime number is 5 so these are squares of consecutive prime number this is the pattern now next prime number is 13 13 square would be 169 and that will be our final answer so this is the first kind of question that comes in series where there is a pattern in the terms next kind of question could be where you will find pattern in the difference of terms now you can see that this is the difference 1 and 2 the difference is 1 2 and 6 the difference is 4 this is 9 the difference this is 16 now you can see that the difference between the terms is are squares of consecutive natural numbers can i say this is 1 means 1 square 4 means 2 square 9 means 3 square 16 means 4 square if i can just write for you the dif this difference is 1 square 4 is 2 square 9 is 3 square 16 is 4 square now you can see that the difference between the terms Are square of consecutive natural number. This is the pattern. Now next would be the the difference between the terms will be of five square. That is twenty five. So if you add this thirty one plus twenty five, your answer will be fifty six, and that will be your answer. So it means that the term that we need to find is fifty six. Next is ten, fifteen, nineteen, twenty two, and twenty four. You can see that that this difference is five. This difference is four. This difference is three. This difference is two. So next difference would be one, because the difference between the terms is decreasing by one. So this would be twenty-five. So broadly, I can summarize this in series. You will only find two kinds of question. No confusion. No cramming. No memorization. Only two kinds of questions are there in series. First kind of question. are those in which you will find the pattern in terms two examples i have gave you or second kind of question in which you will find the pattern in the difference of terms that's all that's the basics of number series now series can be in the letter series let's discuss what is the letter series next is letter series we know that first alphabet is a so a has a is the first alphabet so we assign the number to a, a as 1 b is the second alphabet so b means 2 c is the third alphabet c means 3 and so on till y 
एंड z y means 25 and z means 26 so this kind of question can also come in series uh, where uh, you will be given the series in letters now each letter represents a number a is the first alphabet so it means its number is 1 b means 2 c means 3 uh, y means 25 and z means 26 now what if the number becomes more than 26 how to represent number more than 26 uh, in alphabets so 27 the next number would be a again the series alphabet series will start 28 would be b and so on now what's the logic after 26 the alphabet series will repeat for example uh, what uh, what's the easy way to find for example if you find if you want to let's say uh, find what will 53 represent if the number is 53 what will be the corresponding letter according to number 53 now 53 what you have to do divide this number by 26 divide this number by 26 this is 52 remainder is 1 what it means that 53 you can write it as 26 into 2 plus 1 now what is the remainder remainder is 1 remainder is will be the number that 53 will represent so 1 means a so 53 will represent a why so because 53 means 26 into 2 times what it what it means 26 into 2 26 into 2 simply means that the alphabet series is completed two times alphabet series from a to z completed two times first a to z up to 26 then a to z up to 52 and the next number would be a in the same way if you want to represent let's say 80 80 means which alphabet Again, simply divide 80 by 26 and find the remainder. 26 threes are 78. Remainder is 2. It means that 80 will be equal to 26 series completed three times plus 2. Now, what 2 means? 2 means B. So it means that you can represent uh, a alphabet uh, with cor corresponding with the every number. Now, how to uh, remember this alphabet and number relation easily? we know that a b c up to z i told you this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 this is 26 now how we can remember in a faster manner there is a easy method ijoti once you will remember ijoti you can easily uh, uh, remember the number corresponding to the letter e means 5 j means 10 o means 15 t means 20 and y means 25 it means that y represent 25 t means 20 o means 15 j means 10 and e means 5 so once you know e means 5 you can easily calculate f would be how much 6 once you know that o is 15 o is 15 o after the o number is p p would be how much next number is 16 so this re will really help you to uh, find the number in a faster manner now how to remember some easy number let's say x x means 24 how to remember it because you know that new channels are 24 cross 7 new channels we have in india or worldwide the new channels are 24 cross 7 new channels now what this cross and 24 you can easily remember the relation this is just to uh, find the method of re easy remembrance so that you don't uh, need to cram much 24 cross 7 we all know that so x means 24 now next what we can remember m and w you know that the both shape of m and w is similar to 3 if you will rotate m if you will rotate m clockwise this will become like this so m represent 3 also w if you rotate anti clockwise this also represent 3 because 3 will be there in m as well as w because the shape of m and w is similar to 3 so m means 13 w means 23 now let's discuss letter series examples again uh, the basic is very same as i told you in number either you will find the pattern in the terms or pattern in the difference of term 
now first example this is b d h p and f find the next number now what b represent this is 2 this is 4 h means 8 p means 16 remember the ijot o means 15 p means 16 now what is the pattern pattern is 2 to the 4 4 to the 8 8 to the 16 the next number is 2 times the previous number now it should be 32 16 to the 32 but uh, f means 6 now what how 32 means f as i told you whenever the number becomes more than 26 you need to divide the number by 26 so 32 if you divide the number by 26 you will get 26 into 1 26 the divisor 1 is the quotient plus remainder is 6 and you need to represent the remainder remainder will be, will be the your number so it means that 32 means 6 and 6 means f now next number would be 6 into 2 12 12 miss l how 12 miss l because you know that j remember is ot j means 10 k miss 11 and l miss 12 now that was pattern in the term another example is b y what is b b miss 2 y miss 25 c miss 3 x miss 24 e miss 5 y v miss 22 this is 7 this is 20 this is 11 this is 16 now what's the pattern pattern is very simple if you add this two, 2 and 25 this will make 27 same here it makes 27 27 27 sum look at the sum 2 plus 25 27 this is 3 plus 24 27 27 27 27 next uh, number that we need to find now look at this first uh, alphabet in each number each term b means 2 c means 3 this is 5 7 and 11 now what are this 2 3 5 7 11 these are the consecutive prime numbers 2 is the first prime number 3 is the second prime number 5 is the third 7 is the fourth 11 is the fifth next prime number is 13 13 means m now what would be the next alphabet we simply need to apply the pattern pattern is that sum of the numbers should be 27 so 13 plus 14 will make 27 14 means n so our answer would be m n this will be the term now again second kind of question where you will find the find the pattern in the difference of term this is 1 this is 2 this is 4 this is 7 this is 11 now what is the pattern the difference is here is 1 here the difference is 2, here the difference is 3, here the difference is 4, the next difference would be 5, 11 plus 5, 16 means P. So 16 or P will be your answer. Again this is 3, this is 5, this is 8, this is 13, this is 20. Now what is the difference? This is 2, this is 3 difference, this is 5 difference, this is 7 difference. Now you can see that the difference are consecutive prime number. The difference between the terms are consecutive prime numbers. So next difference would be, next prime number is uh, 11. So difference would be 11. Now 20 plus 11 would be how much? 20 plus 11 would be 31. T is 20, add 11 because the difference will be 11. This will become 31. Now what will 31 represent? 31, again I told you divide the number by 26. This is 31, divide the number by 26, this will get 26, remainder would be 5. Now 5 means what? 5 means E. So this answer will be E. You need, uh, need to represent the remainder. The logic is that 31 is 26 into 1 plus 5. Remember the logic. 26 into 1 means the alphabet series is completed one times and the next series a will start from a b c d e so answer will be 5 5 is e so that was all about number and letter series the basic is very simple as i can show you the first slide either you will find the diff pattern in terms or pattern in the difference of terms in the next class i will discuss the more questions based on series thank you